Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 21 in chapter 6. In this one, we need to find effective value of G at the latitude of 45 degrees. So in this one, we need to find the effective value of G. So that means we need to look at get the normal force, right? Because the normal force equals the mass times the G, effective G. So there, now let's see what force acts on this particle. First of all, we have normal force gravity and then because you can see because this uh, particle located at the 45 degree and so you can see there is this normal force and then this uh, gravity is not at the same line you agree so th so in this one we get the net force so this net force is just as a normal force plus the gravity so because this is vector addition for vectors so normal force plus the gravity equals the net force and then this net force just makes the particle do the circular motion on the earth because the earth is keep moving right and then the radius for the for this uh, circular motion is this one and this one we can say this is re the earth's radius r and this is angle theta Agree. So this uh, uh, radius for the circular motion is R e cosine theta. Do you agree? So in this way, we can say we know the net force is uh, equals the addition normal force plus the gravity. So now we need to project these forces into component x component and a y component, and then write the equation in this way by Newton's second law. Do you agree? So first one we have the normal force and the pro projected in x component and the y component we have f and cosine phi and f and sine phi. Agree? And then also we have the net force. The net force we still need to project it in the two components, f net sine theta, f net cosine theta, and also the gravity is just along the negative y component. Do you agree? Gravity. Now you can see we can see. As we talk about the normal force equals mass times the effective g. So if you want to know this effective g, we must know the normal force. And then this normal force is uh, decided by the oh, when, by the net force and the gravity. Do you agree? So we can write the equation look like this one. So net force equals the normal force plus the gravity. This is the uh, addition for two vectors. So there we can see. This net force in the two component, I, x component and y component. So we can write it as you can see at x component, at x component it is positive, right? So f not net force sine theta, and at the y component it's negative. So negative cosine theta, negative of uh, net force cosine theta, j component. And then the normal force we don't know, and then but we know it in two components, so we don't know. We write it there, and then. You need to add the gravity, right? So gravity is a negative y component. See, in this one, then you can write the net force in this equation, right? So you can see in this one, the normal force, you know the x component and also you know the y component. Can you get it? Sure, because the, the gravity is very easy. The gravity comes from the gravitational force. So capital constant G, capital M, small m, and R E square. Agree? This is the Earth. This is the Earth. Earth is radius. And also we find the net force is because this particle do the circular motion along the radius is a R E cosine theta. R E cosine. So this R is just equal to R E cosine theta. And the net force is mass times acceleration. So in there you can see you know the Gravity, you know the net force, and the net force is given there, so you know the x component for the normal force, the y component for the normal force, and then you can get the normal force in two components, i component and j component. Do you agree? Because in this one, you can get the i component and the j component. After you input the number inside, you find the numbers this one. In this one, you can see the normal force equals mass times a vector. And so the force equal to the m, we say this is the effective g, do you agree? Effective g. So the g just equal to this one. And then you can 
So this is X component, this is Y component, and then you can get the magnitude and angle theta. Thank you.